Hey guys, what is going on? Pete Simonetti here of the Simonetti Source. Just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I've been extremely busy this week. As you guys know, I am working on my new album. Um, so that's going very, very well. Things are going very, very well. Trying to get as many videos out to you guys. Live chats, things of that nature. Me and Ryan have been talking recently about when we're going to do the next No Offense podcast. So everything is getting there. But I wanted to make a video really briefly talking about DJ LeMayu. Because I've had some people throw tweets my way and different things that other people and other reporters are saying. And it's exactly, again, what I told you guys, what, a week or so ago, really, again, before anybody else, that the Yankees and LeMay are progressing on a deal, but they're stuck. They're in that little standstill right now. What I'm being told, again, is four years. Everybody else is now reporting that same thing. I was told that they're talking option a four-year deal with an option. Now, it looks like there is a little bit of hardball being played right now with LeMayu's camp, and look, he should. He's one of the best hitters in baseball. He's also now proved it on the biggest stage in baseball in New York City. So DJ LeMayu was looking for that big deal. He never really had a chance to get a major deal. He has it now. This is the opportunity. This is the best time for him to get it. He may retire after this, or the way he hits, he may go a lot longer. But DJ LeMayu is not what I see as a old, low 30 player. And what I mean by that is the type of hitter he is, he can last a long time, is what I'm saying. That that hitting style isn't all power, isn't all average. He's so well balanced that even a decent DJ LeMayu is likely starting on just about every single team where they would have him, whether that is, again, a move to first base eventually or whatever it is to keep him fresh as possible. He's perfect for New York. He's perfect for the ballpark. So I, I again, wanted to make this video just to reassure you guys the Yankees are very, very interested in DJ LeMayu. They want to bring him back. They have not put anything on a back burner. He is 1A, as I've been reporting uh, for multiple weeks now. I also reported what the deal is looking like. I don't know money figures, but I'm assuming he's going to be pushing roughly $20 million or so a year. So, you know, four years, 80, four years, 82, maybe four years, 84. And, and of course, a potential option. But that seems like that is the holdup right now. He really wants a guaranteed five. I think when hardball, when I talk about hardball is being played, a lot of times what they will look to do here is either get some sort of commitment from another club to do five, maybe even get an offer on the table for five, or come together with four-year deals that are similar and say, hey, here, here, hey, Yankees, my guy wants to come to you, but look what he's looking at here. So a lot of this is used as leverage. Again, don't always believe the things you hear in the media. Um, don't You don't always have to listen to me, but I'm giving you guys the information I'm getting. Again, the stuff I put out a couple of weeks ago or a week or so ago, you got your mainstream guys reporting on that now. There's not much else news out there for the Yankees, and I tell you, it's a bit concerning, but we'll see. We'll see. You know, the starting rotation is now getting a lot of attention. I still think trades are going to be the route. I think Tanaka has a chance of coming back, but he's really going to have to take a Yankee contract and not going to blow his socks off. So if another team comes out there and maybe offers more, you might see Tanaka go to another club. The Yankees do have interest in Tomoyuki Sugano, who is the Japanese pitcher that's been posted. I believe, I want to say he plays He plays for the Giants. Yes, for the y Yamori Giants. But um, another guy out there, I think there's going to be a lot of interest in him, so maybe that's not the route the Yankees take, but they will be interested in that bidding. The Yankees have great scouts in Asia and the Asian region. They do very, very good uh, advanced scouting over there, so um, the Yankees are well-versed uh, with Sugano already, no doubt about it. So if the Yankees like him, they'll go at him. I've heard they're interested, I've heard they look, but money is tight, and look, don't get me wrong when I say money is tight, but when you see it as a business, every baseball team lost the money due to COVID. Every baseball team lost money due to COVID. That's why you saw so many non-tenders, and you're going to see some guys likely not get the deals expected. So DJ LeMayu has won. Is the big name, really, offensively, that teams really will love to get? Because, again, he could turn a decent team to a really good team. He could turn a decent lineup to a really good lineup. And, again, if that team already got pitching, you add a guy like LeMayu, 
You've just extremely, extremely improved your ball club. So it's going to be interesting to see the route that the Yankees take. But again, folks, listen to me when I tell you, DJ LeMayu is 1A. I think the Yankees get their pitching via trade. I think they know they have guys that teams want. I think they could try to sit back and get the right move at the right time. Wouldn't shock me if Tanaka's back. Wouldn't shock me to see them go after Sagano. Wouldn't shock me to see them go after a couple of names out there, maybe a Cole Hamels, uh, some lower-level names to try to fill that rotation out. Talked about this a lot. I think it's a great idea for the Yankees to try to fill their rotation up with some maybe uh, uh, veteran arms, well-versed arms. You guys know the the names I've talked about trading for, whether they're the elites or the decent or the big upcoming guys that have kind of, you know, have some foundation under them already. But the Yankees can do a lot of different things, and it's going to be an interesting offseason. So hopefully that answers some of your guys' DMs you sent me today. I know a lot of people sent me what other people said. Hey, Pete, you said this. Um, Is this still correct? Yes, when I say it and I announce it, it's correct, folks. I'm not tooting my own horn here, but it, it's correct. And I will tell you if I'm wrong or not. But again, LeMayu, 1A, four years with an option. That is what the Yankees are looking at. That is what they want to do. Either a guaranteed four or four years and an option. LeMayu and his team is playing a little bit of hardball. They're trying to get those offers on the table to see who would give him the best deal. He wants to come back to the Yankees. I expect him to come back to the Yankees. But again, you never know what could happen. Talk to you guys soon. Subscribe, like, put notifications on so you never miss a Simonetti Source video. You guys are the best. Talk to you soon. Thank you. In the club I be, sipping Hennessy. Got that purple drink made for me. My philosophy twisted with R&B. Commonly, you can't fuck with me. I'm Versace, you a graphic tee board at the Dollar Tree. No apology, given when I'm spitting. The life's